Okay, 2.5, a sample of strontium is made up of only three isotopes, SR86, 87SR, and 88SR. This sample contains 83% by mass of 88SR. This sample of strontium has an AR of 87.73, calculate the percentage abundance of each of the other two isotopes. In this sample, I suggest you pause the video and have a go. Okay, let me run through it. So first of all, you want to set this out just like any other RAM equation. So you want your masses of each isotope times their individual abundances over the total abundance, which will normally equal 100% as I'm setting it out here. However, in this situation, we actually know the RAM. We know the AR of strontium. We just are missing two of the individual isotopes, their abundances. We're missing the abundance of 86 and 87. Now, as we know, the abundance of 88 is 83. Then we know if we do 100 minus 83, we get 17% that's missing. And that 17% must be the sum of the abundances of SR86 and SR87. So we know the two missing abundances equal 17. So this means that we can write SR86 is going to be equal to 17 minus x, where x is the abundance of strontium-87. So if strontium-87 is x, then SR86 has to be 17 minus x. So for example, if our x is 3, let's pretend, then our SR86 must be 17 minus 3. We'd know that SR86 was 14. However, that's not the case, so let's rub this out and get into working out what x is. So now we need to rewrite the expression, but using 17 minus x for a SR86 or strontium 86 and multiplying 87 by x. So we have 86 times 17 minus x plus 87 times x plus 88 times 83. And all of this divided by 100 equals 87.73. Now there's several ways to go here, but I want to get rid of the 100. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the brackets by 100 and that's going to get rid of my 100 underneath and I'm just going to times the right hand side by 100. So I'm going to rewrite this out 86 times 17 minus x plus 87x plus 88 times 83 is equal to 100 times 87.73 which is 8773. So now what I want to do is multiply out each of these brackets individually to simplify this equation. So I'm going to do 86 times 17 first and if I whack that into the old calculator, no, I definitely should not write. Let's, let's type it, let's type it. It's much easier to read when I type. So we're going to get 1,462 minus 86x plus 87x. Uh, we want to then times 88 by 83. You get 7,304, and that equals 8773. Obviously, let's get rid of this minus 86x and plus 87x, and that will just give us 1x. Write this out. And now we might as well add together these two numbers on the left-hand side into one big fat number. And if we add 7304 to 1462, whack that in the calculator, we get 8766 plus 1x equals 8773. Now I just need to subtract 8766, because it's the smaller number, from both sides of the equals. And what we're going to be left with is our answer for x. So 1x is going to be equal to 8773 minus 8766. And the answer is 7. So this means that x is 7. So strontium-87 has an abundance of 77%. And as we know that SR86 and SR87 both equal 17, 17 minus 7 means SR86 is 10%. And there's your answers. Boom! Like, share, comment. Let's get to the mark. You're still here? It's over.